Have you ever been out to Circle B Reserve? Me either. I'm Charlie Reineke, here to tell you about what this place has to offer. There are a ton of things you can do out here. Most of them just being walking around like hiking trails and looking at wildlife. And there are a ton of birds and alligators, snakes, frogs, turtles that you can see out here. It's pretty awesome. So come with me and we'll check it out. So I've been going down this trail for about like two and a half miles and still haven't really seen anything apart from a couple butterflies and birds. But have you ever seen a palm tree without any like palm fronds on it? That's pretty neat. On top of all the animals you can see out here, there are also tons of species of plants, ranging from like oak trees, pine trees, a couple lime trees, palm fronds, and sand spurs. Make sure you're wearing some clotoed shoes, because I'm wearing flip flops and these things are absolutely dominating. Now if you are going to come out here, there are some things that you absolutely need to bring, starting off with water, because I'm really thirsty right now and a nice cold water would hit the spot. Second, bug spray or bug wipes. There are a lot of mosquitoes out here and they're kind of wrecking me right now. Third, you're probably going to want a camera so you can take pictures of all the cool wildlife. And finally, a phone, just in case something dangerous happens. Another important thing to remember is to always stay on the trails, because it's really easy to get lost out here, and I'm going to be honest, I have no clue where I'm at right now. So if I get lost, this is the last place I ever was, and please come find me. As you can see, I didn't follow the rules, and I went off the trail, and I am absolutely swarmed in sandspurs right now. Like, they're, they're in my hair. This is awful. But anyways, this has been Charlie with BDTV, and I hope you come out here and check out Circle B Reserve. Oh, man, I wish I was as good as Tiger Woods or Jack Nicklaus or Jordan Spieth for that matter. Anyways, I'm Charlie Reineke, here to take you on a journey through the world of golf. Did you know that golf was first played in Scotland in the year 1457 and it was played with golf balls made out of feathers wrapped in leather and tree branches? You know, golf can put you in a lot of sticky situations, but the one man I've seen get out of almost any situation is Tiger Woods. And at 21 years old, he was the youngest player to ever win the Masters. He also has the widest winning margin, 18 strokes, and the lowest winning score, 12 under par. Did you know that the longest putt ever in golf history was 111 feet set by Jack Nicklaus in the 1964 Tournament of Champions? Unfortunately, this putt wasn't televised, but the longest televised putt was 107 feet set by Sir Terry Wogan. Let's see if I can't set the record here. Oh. That was 112 feet. You're just gonna have to take my word for it, all right? Yeah. Whew. Man, golf is a tiring sport, and I haven't played all 18 holes yet. You know, golf wasn't always an 18-hole game. On the first ever golf course, St. Andrews Lynx, players would play hole 1 through 11, then back again 11 through 1. But they complained that a couple of the holes were too short, so they combined them with other holes to make the 18-hole game we know and love today. Now, I know we've all heard that golf can be boring or it's no fun, but I guarantee you that if you give it a shot, you'll have a blast. I'm Charlie Beatty TV. And I'll see you on the course. I'm here at the parking garage in downtown Winter Haven. And today I'm going to show you all the stuff you need to know about downtown Winter Haven. I'm Charlie Reineke with BDTV. Let's check it out. Wow, looks like our first stop wasn't actually that far from where we started. I'm here on top of the parking garage in downtown Winter Haven. And you know, this parking garage offers a great view of the city behind me. Lots of people come up here to take pictures with their cars, or just pictures. You know, I think I might go take some now. I'm here in the Winter Haven Library. People come here to read books and study up for tests. I know I've spent a lot of time studying. I'm talking super quietly so I don't disturb anyone, like that guy back there. Anyways, I'm going to get back to my studies, so I'll see you later. I'm here in the Central Park of Winter Haven. I like to come here after studying at the library and just chill out and enjoy the natural beauty of it. It's pretty cool, let's check it out. Here in Central Park, we have tons of art and sculptures on display from local artists, like this here. They turned a normal old electrical box into something beautiful. It's pretty neat. This is one of my favorite things in Central Park, the Before I Die board. People write on here what they want to do before they die. Someone wrote Windmill Solo on there five times. It's oddly specific. After the park, you know, I like to go say hi to some of the local business owners down here. Does that name right there look familiar to you? 
Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, Charlie. What's going on, man? You know, I really love downtown Winter Haven, and it's often overlooked by much of the residents of Winter Haven. I guarantee you, if you come down here just to relax or hang out, you'll have a blast. Charlie Ranicky with PVTV, and I'll see you downtown. Here at Winter Haven, we have something for everyone. I'm Charlie Ranicky with BBTV. Let's go look at some of the clubs and classes that we offer. Here at BDTV, I can experience what it's like to be in the world of journalism by recording and editing videos and anchoring a news show. I also learn how to do cool stuff like this. Pretty neat. Here in the Trident, I can learn all about the basics of journalism, and I can also learn how to write and publish a newspaper. Like this one. In Key Club, I can be a part of the oldest and largest service program for high school students. I can also learn leadership skills through service to others, and it is a completely student-led organization. In FFA, I can learn about the future of agriculture by showing and selling animals, participating in science and speaking competitions, and working with a variety of crops. In drama, I can be the star of the show, acting in plays and musicals, all in front of a very large audience. It's pretty cool. In HOSA, I'll learn about what it takes to be successful in the medical field and could potentially save someone's life just by learning CPR. These are just a few of the clubs here at Winter Haven, but you can be a part of so many more. I'm Charlie Ranicky with BDTV, and I hope that you get involved. Winter Haven High School has been around for a long time, and in that period of time, we've had tons of buildings built, but I bet that you wouldn't even know what half of so I'm gonna teach you what the buildings are for today. But it'd be a little too easy if I just walked, so I'm gonna use a unicycle. Charlie BDTV, let's ride. I'm here in the office. It's here in this building that students come to check in or check out, meet with their guidance counselors, or enroll in the school. Now this building's pretty cool and it's really pretty. Let's go check out some other ones. This is the foreign language building where our students can come to learn many foreign languages, like French, Spanish, or even German. I'm here in Winter Haven's cafeteria. This is the building that students come to get their lunch or breakfast and to eat their lunch throughout the day. You can either get the lunch here or bring it from your own house. It's pretty cool. This is our music building. It's here that our band, chorus, and orchestra practices on the daily. There are also all three award-winning programs, which is pretty awesome. Great job, guys. As you can see, Winter Haven High School is pretty interesting, and it's not all about the students. These buildings have been around for a while, and they're actually pretty neat. Well, I'm Charlie with BDTV, and I'll see you later.